Jesse B. Scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is for Thinking of You Scrapless Thursday. And I'm going to be doing these two beautiful pictures of my daughter in the snow. And I'm using this paper pad that I picked up at Tuesday morning. I It started off with a whole lot of, I think, 180 sheets in it. And I am down quite a bit. I use it a lot. And I am going to cut out... Um, hexagons out of the gray papers and I went through this whole paper pad and pulled out uh, the gray or gray and white papers out of it because I'm trying to keep it that monochromatic to go with this um, scrap list right here. This one is from uh, weeklyscrapper.com. It's called First Snow Layout and so I'm going to Mat my pictures um, on the back, or I'm going to mat the, my pictures on this uh, piece of paper. It is um, the white with little uh, gray um, lines on it, and I think that will help it pop off this busy background. This is a piece of that, um, it's a white flowers on a gray background, and it reminds me of snow. And so I decided to use it for my background here. But as you'll see, I, as I'm putting things down, I'm trying to ink up the edges just to help give it some definition. It is, I really love the background, but it's too busy. And I am going to fight with that for a little while until I figure out how to fix it. But here's my um, hexagon punch. This is my large punch. And I really like it. I am just taking a little bit out of the corners uh, of the full size sheet and the smaller sheet here um, so that if I want to use it for matting around a layout later, I can. And I just wanted to use just a tiny bit of that corner and I figured that would not ruin that whole piece of paper for me. And most of this paper has, there's three sheets of the same paper. Um, So I decided I needed one more, so I'm just going to grab this gray and white stripe, and I wanted the mostly gray so that it was a little bit darker. That's why I kind of chose the middle of the paper there. And I'm going to move these little hexagons around quite a bit, but first I am going to use this um, little piece that you cut off the top from the paper pad and put it down here at the bottom. I really, really like that pop of red. The inspiration piece had a pop of red on the top and the bottom, but I only put it on the one side here. And if I remember correctly, I actually end up moving it so it is on the side, not on the bottom by the time I'm done, moving everything around. And I really, I really love the way this um, layout turned out, but it did take me a while to get there. I moved things all over the place, and um, here I am. I found these little um, flowers. They're white and pink, and then the red one, and I thought that they worked great for the pop of color that she had, or whoever it was that did the scrap the original scrap um, page, uh, she had little pink flowers on it and it brought out the pink in the little girl's hat. And I wanted the red to bring out the red in my daughter's um, shirt. So here I am still moving things around. Um, I did bring in this... Um, uh, tool or this floral um, tool that I got the Dollar Tree and I went around all the little hexagons so it has a little bit of sparkle around every one of them and then I'm going to bring them or bring it around uh, both pictures too. It just gives it that little bit of sparkle that reminds me of snow. <laughs> I'm showing you that this is a brand new thing of a uh, fun foam and 
yeah, it was only on the sticky was like not on that part and it's not even covered. I don't know what happened there. So I just ran a piece of uh, ATG across that non sticky part and called it good. Because the rest of it underneath that paper was nice and sticky. It's just that part that's showing was not. It was quite funny. So here's my solution. I'm going to grab some of this um, white uh, tissue paper. And I'm going to make a block of white behind the pictures. That helps soften the um, busy background a little bit away from the pictures. And I like that a lot better. Um, it's still really busy, but with it all being gray and then the pictures having the color, I think it works well. And then I wanted to give it some, a little bit of texture, so I'm just wrinkling up the um, the tissue paper, and it gives it that wrinkled, kind of weathered look. And before I add my uh, pictures down, I only popped up the one picture of her with her looking at the camera, the one her looking up in the into the snow. I left flat. I hear it clap. And then here's where I'm going to start placing the um, little embellishment clusters of hexagons. Um, I'm going to do three little clusters at first and then I end up bringing in one more hexagon later. But I uh, end up cutting this one because I already, already had glued that down and didn't want to stick down there as far as I wanted it to. And my ATG ran out of um, tape, so I, here I am changing it. And the funny thing is, when I change this, I don't notice that that little, um, I don't know what you call it, lock on the side there, in the black on the um, right side, yeah, it stays there for a while. I forget to put it into the ATG gun. And it doesn't mess with it or, you know, hurt it at all. But I thought it was quite funny that I just totally and completely um, didn't even notice I didn't put it in for the longest time. So it's going to sit there for a while until all of a sudden I realize that it's there. Okay, so I decided to bring my hexagons above the tissue paper instead of underneath of it like I had originally done on the sides. I liked it on top of the tissue way better. So that's what I'm doing there. And then that hole from the paper pad hole was bugging me. So I bring in my gray and gray and white um, washi tape. And I'm just going to add washi tape into several different spots. This one here, I'm making it longer because that's where I'm going to house the title. And then just a couple little pieces of washi in um, each of the clusters. She did not have that in her inspiration piece, but I added it because that um, hole was bugging me. So this is a rub on I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and I really like that little. Um, it looks like um, stamping when it's done. I really like the way it looks. So I have, I'm going to add a little uh, rub on in uh, three of the different, in three different spots. So it goes around the pictures. And um, <laughs> that one hexagon on the bottom with the white and gray stripe. I actually end up covering that almost completely up, so it's quite fun. You don't even see see it really by the time I'm done, but it's okay. I know it's there. So my title is going to be Always a Beautiful Heart, and I came up with this title because my my daughter is so... She's so caring and so sweet, 
and um, she's always wanted to be a school teacher and a coach. And so now she's a junior in college um, working towards that goal. Um, she gets to actually uh, start student teaching here in about a year and a half. And um, she loves to be with me and go out and just take fun pictures like this. And she's just, uh, I love being with her. And she does. She has a beautiful heart. And so that's why I came up with this title. So I added some black buttons into the center of all the um, flowers. And to make sure that they stay down, I'm going to add heavy things on top of them. <laughs> And then those um, little snowflakes I picked up at um, Walmart in the sewing aisle. Um, they're not really buttons, but that's where you find them at with the buttons. But they're perfect little silver snowflakes, so I figured that they would work perfect for this. And then these little um, gemstones I also picked up at Walmart. But they're in the very small scrapbooking section my Walmart has. and um, But I really like the uh, sparkle that they add to the page. So I'm adding those in. And that's as I'm adding my silver glitter puffy paint around that spot up at the top between the two pictures is really bugging me. It looks too plain. And I keep thinking about what to do with it. And yeah, there I am trying to figure it out. Finally, I grab a piece of white paper and I put those washi tape all in the grades that I had used other places on the um, layout. And I am going to punch it out into a hexagon because I didn't have another gray paper I wanted to use. But I figured that gives me the hexagon and the washi all at the same time. And I really like it. But it was still very plain. So I do grab this word, and it's kindness. And I figured that worked well. So that's like my subtitle. And I'm going to add that in there and add some more puffy paint for a little bit of sparkle around it and this layout will be done thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe if you already have a subscriber thank you very much for following me i really appreciate it and i hope you continue to enjoy my videos bye